Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty, and happy Friday morning everybody. I am here with a brand new open collab to me. It's been going on for a while, but this is my first week to participate in it. It is called Hashtag Flip Through Friday, and it is hosted by Christina Shack. And it's, I think, for the most part, I have to, it's my first time, like I said, and the first time I saw this hashtag was last week on Janet Nash's channel. I love watching Janet Nash. She's so calm and soothing. And I just, I'm totally relaxed when I watch her channel. And she was doing Flip Through Friday. And so I said, maybe I will do that one week. And she said, we would love for you to. Um, and they are flipping through their journals or their glue books or whatever they have that they want to share a flip through with. Andy, no. And so I have four journals, so four glue book journals. And so I'm only going to flip through one, but I wanted to show you just the front of each one. No, Andy, no. My cat is trying to take over my video again. Um, so this is my first glue book that I'm sharing with you and it's just the alphabet. Um, I'm not going to even show it. It's just the alphabet glue book. And so I've only gotten to, I think I am on F. Yeah. So I just do this when I see things come up for that letter. And, um, so this is my first one and I'm not going to share that one tonight. Then the second one is my flower and nature glue book and this is the first book I started it's out of an old cookbook um and this is the first glue book that I started and I like it but I found that it's not my favorite Andy seriously you're gonna knock my camera over I will share this at another time since flip through Friday comes every Friday um the third one I have and this is my most enjoyable one is my random glue book and I've gotten as you can see quite a bit done in here but I still have a lot of pages and um, I'm just decorating the front with all kinds of different embellishments and stickers and cutouts or whatever I find but I'm not going to share that one today either that is my favorite book but I'm going to work in that one a little bit more and this was an old cookbook that I turned into another glue book and it is all based on people and um so this is the one i'm going to share for today so this is of course the original cover and i haven't done anything to it yet andy no jeez he was trying to muzzle his or nuz nuzzle his whiskers on my camera so i haven't done anything to the cover of this one yet and like i said it was an old uh cookbook I've done a few pictures or pages in here. Right off the bat, I loved that it had a pocket here. And so I've left this empty because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. And then on this side, you see that it has another pocket. And I just think of pockets as treasures. So I'm not quite ready. I haven't decided what I want to do with that. But this was the first page I did in here. And this was out of a crochet book that I found this, um, I believe it was out of a crochet book that I found this picture. And I just thought she was so sweet. She just looks so sweet. So this was the first page I did with, um, this is sponge ink all around the border here. And just a few more stickers and a cutout of a word that said smile. And that's, I left it right there as is and loved it. Both of these pages came from a um, old book that was published probably in the 70s, I believe. But it was um, country um, crafts and quilts. And it was a country book. I can't remember what which book it was. I found it at the used bookstore. And I just loved both of these images. And then I found an image of an old fashioned rag doll that I thought fit perfect with this. And then this was like a, this, these were magazine cutouts. 
and so is this, and then a few stickers. And over here, more stickers. And I love the background of this one. It was another piece of paper. This came out of a book that just was labeled China. It was a huge book and it has so many awesome um, images that I loved getting the book. And so this one was of a little boy riding Donald Duck that, and then I just found some stickers of Donald Duck. And here was a bunch of kids with instruments, looks like violins and guitars. And I had some stickers to go along with that and just left it as is after that. These two pictures were the reason I bought this book because I just thought they were so stunning. And all I added to both of these pages was just a couple stickers on each page. And I thought it looked great just as is. Now I'm probably gonna go back and either sponge ink the border or put a washi tape on, but I haven't done that yet. But that's the fun thing about these journals is that you can work on it for a while and go back and finish them up or add more to it. This was another book that I had um, and it had both of these images in it and I loved both of them. And I just gave her a butterfly sticker. These were a bunch of different uh, magazine cutouts as a background. And then there was one spot that I couldn't fit anything in, couldn't find anything. And so I just put some washi tape there. It says living the life I always dreamed of. So I thought that was pretty. And then over here, she's looks like she's shopping for some records. And it's just a butterfly. And it says, think happy, be happy. And I did put washi tape on this one. This was, again, out of another magazine or book. I, when I went to, if you could go back in my previous videos, you'll see that I had two different used bookstore hauls with so many great books. And so this was an old book book all about movies um, way back in the day, the 40s, the 50s. And I loved both of these images. So this, I had some stickers I just added to it. This one, I actually had some stickers and then I found these two magazine cutouts of flowers. And I don't know why, but I just thought they fit perfect in there. And then this little sign that said dream. I love these pages, absolutely love them. This was um, a Sunset Magazine, I believe, or All Recipes, I can't remember that I have. And it had Emeril Lagasse and his son, and his son is now a chef as well. And it said in the magazine, like father, like son. So I cut that out, put a little washi tape here to seal it up. And then over here was the, the father and son cooking together and different things they cooked. And I've always loved Emeril Lagasse and he cooks a lot of Portuguese food. My grandmother migrated here from Portugal. So um, I, he's a little extra special to me. These um, both came out of the China book as well. I cut them out and I put washi tape on both of them. This one was another cutout in the book of these kids playing uh, Chinese jump rope. And then I found some stickers that I thought would just go good with it. and some flower stickers, and then this one said, dream big, believe in yourself, and you're doing great, and keep going. So these are just really fun to do as well. I love, love, love this picture. I love all the colors. I love these dancers and their beautiful dresses they always have. And so I, this was a back, this was a page um, in a magazine or a book, I can't remember, but I thought it would just, it was such bright, vibrant colors. And I just thought it went great with this one. And the sticker's just perfect. It says wild and free, and that's what she looks like here. Just wild and free. And then this was um, a Barbie page that was in a magazine. And then I had all kinds of Barbie stickers and I just put starstruck here. It's another thick like ephemera. So these are two of my real favorite pages. I love them. Um, this one was out of some magazine and then I just added different stuff to it. Hot air balloons, different desserts, uh, lots of stickers here. Her soul is made of wildflowers. And it was just a fun image. 
This one was just a backyard scene with a walkway. I added some more different cutouts, lots of stickers, like the little girls were walking down the path. Of course, when you have um, a backyard this beautiful, you know you're gonna see beautiful um, butterflies. <laughs> so I had to put the butterfly in there. And then this one, I don't know why, I just liked this image and I just found some other great images to go along with it. And a few, um, you know, just flower pages. So it was just, a, I don't know why I picked this one, but I liked it. This one was just all kind of wildlife. This woman with the caribous and he's with a, a bobcat. And then here's a moose. And this one, she's riding her horse and then some stickers as well. A bunny rabbit and a fox and a like a mountain home. It just kind of all tied in together. This one was um, just some beach scenes. And so endless beach I put on there. And I'll probably add some more things if I find some little flip flops or... Um, you know, beach tool, toys or something, I might put that on there as well. But that's the great thing is that these journals, they're never really done. You can always add on to it. This one, I just loved uh, this picture of her. And then it only came down to about here. So I had this picture of some, it was like a forest with trees up here. So I just cut the, the lawn off because I thought the green matched so well. I'm definitely not done with this page. I do want to add more to it, but for right now, I just love it. And, and then these two pages, of course, are not done. They're just images that I saw and boom, boom, I wanted to cut them out. Um, and so I did. And so I have a lot more to add to this. And then this one was some wine and just some different backgrounds of things I liked. And this, this gal, because I had to tie it in with people. And then this one was in one of the old um, books that I bought that was published in like the 60s or 70s or something, but I just thought it was a cute picture. And I haven't added anything to it yet, but, um, it, you know, I'm sure I will later. It looks like they're getting ready to go to the prom is what I, I think. Here was just some whimsical um, pictures. This one just said the corkscrew curls. Do you remember these? And my mom has a picture when she was little, like three, with these with this hair to right here, it was so pretty. And it had a little bit about how they did their hair. And then the Avon cosmetics. I remember the Avon lady coming to our house every week and my mom trying on lipsticks and um, perfumes and different things. And it was always fun. This was a bunch of cutouts, just of old vintage pictures. And I, I remember my mom also had a dress that looked just like that. So my mom was born in the 40s. So I thought that was really pretty. Right? 40s? I think so. Early 40s. And then this is just the rest of the cookbook that I haven't used yet. So I still have a lot I can um, add to this. So anyways, thank you so much. Um, Christina for hosting this. I will put her link in the description box so you can go over and check her out. And thank you to Janet Nash for also being a part of this collab and um, <clears throat> me enjoying your video last week. And it inspired me to share with you this week. So hopefully next week I will share one of my other journals with you. All right, you guys have a great day. Friday and a wonderful weekend and I shall talk to you later. Bye-bye.